Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. It's about remote join like for the PSP. Uh, it works on firmware 5.00 and 23-6. So what you want to do is go to the link on the description and wait for 4 to 5 seconds until you can download the file. Uh, I'll skip that. And yeah, after uh, loading is finished. Uh, go click regular download uh, You would want to open the file because it's a zip file And so once it's done loading It will open up on your WinRAR Okay um, Okay, so when you open it in WinRAR there will be four three folders and two uh, text files what I want to do is get the driver folder and the GUI folder extracted on any place on your computer. What I did was extract it on my local disk, like so. Just the driver and the GUI folder. Don't include the SE plugins. So once that's finished, we want to go to your PSP folder yeah wait so yeah once you're here go ex and extract the SE plugin folder yeah, I won't do that because I already have it there so next is simply remove your PSP USB and go play something uh, go play something and while you're playing, go and insert the USB and when it says you load wait, I'm going to connect the PSP as you can see, I'm going to connect the PSP so, I'm just going to connect it should say the device has loaded PSP type B. When it says that, this will appear. And what you want to do is go to advance and just follow what I do. Uh, you need to find the folder, the drivers folder, wherever you saved it. Then, once you have when it has loaded, uh, once it has loaded the driver, once it's finished, Wait. It's staying too long. Now it's copying the files so you can play your PSP with your PC monitor. Uh, this should take a while. There. Fin click finish. Then go to the GUI folder and open remote join light. It can be there any of the two. See? As you can see. It's done, that's it. See? So, controls are double click and it will go full screen. Now that's it. Thanks for the point of my first tutorial.